So after coming up with ideas in my head of a Valentine's Day drink, even though it's kind of late, I came up with this. It's so good. So grab a grande sized cold cup, pour heavy cream to the bottom line, pour that into the blender, add three pumps of mocha, two scoops of dried strawberries, a grande scoop of ice, three pumps of cream base, and blend that on one. While that's blending, you're gonna pour a little bit of strawberry puree into the bottom of the cup, and then pour the frappuccino. Try not to spill it. Add more puree to the top. Add whipped cream. And a chocolate spiral. I call it the chocolate strawberry frappuccino. Grab a grande sized cold cup. Pour heavy cream to the bottom line. Pour that in the blender. Add three pumps of cinnamon dulce syrup. Two pumps of mocha. And three scoops of java chips. Add a grande scoop of ice. Three pumps of cream base. And then blend that bad boy on one. And then pour it into the cup. Top it with whipped cream. And some cookie crumbles. And this is the cookie dough frappuccino. And this is the recipe for the drink, so enjoy! Cold cup, this is for all my Star Wars. And two packets of sugar in the raw. Then you're going to want to pour whole milk in the steamer to the grande line. And then you're going to steam it. And then when that's steamed, you're going to pour it and leave about an inch from the top. And mix everything together because there might be stuff on the bottom. And then add whipped cream. Oh. Try not to get it over the edge, but you get the point. And this is the warm sugar cookie drink. And a lot of you guys ask me how you make it, so this is it. Pause it or screenshot it. You're welcome. Grab two grande sized hot cups and two Earl Grey tea bags. Put the tea bags in the cup and the tea bags in between the two cups. Add four pumps of vanilla syrup. Oh, all right, don't know what that was, but add four pumps of vanilla syrup. So you're going to add whatever kind of milk you want and pour it to the tall line. I just used whole milk because it's creamier than 2%, so yeah. And then you're going to steam that. And you're going to pour hot water halfway on the cup and then fill the other half with the steamed milk. And this is the London Fog Tea Latte. Okay, life hack. So if you want to flavorful drink but you don't want to pay like five dollars for it you can just get a cup of water with pumps of raspberry in it so this is how i order it so i ask for a venti cup of ice water and then you're gonna ask for 14 pumps of raspberry um i know that's a bit excessive but i like mine really sweet so yep and make sure you stir it because all the syrup might be at the bottom like that but it tastes like propel and it's really good and in virginia after tax it should be a dollar and 12 cents there you go. Grab a grande sized cold cup and the cold foam blender. Pour 2% to the 150 milliliter line. Add two pumps of toffee nut and three scoops of cloud powder. And then blend that on four. Then you're gonna pour the cold foam to the top line and add ice to the bottom and then. And then you're gonna add two espresso shots. So I think my favorite thing about this drink is how the shots go to the bottom. I think it's just really pretty. So you're gonna add caramel drizzle and then a ring of mocha around the edge. And this is the ice cocoa cloud macchiato. Grab a venti sized cold cup Pour heavy cream to the bottom line, 
and then pour that in the blender. Add four pumps of classic syrup, two pumps of white chocolate mocha, and four scoops of matcha powder. Add a venti scoop of ice and four pumps of cream base. Oh no! And grab a new bottle of cream base since I ran out. All right, and then blend that on one. And then pour that in the cup. And this is the matcha green tea frappuccino made with heavy whipping cream and two pumps of white chocolate mocha. Enjoy! Grab a venti size cold cup. This is for all my Star Wars fans. You're gonna pour whole milk to the bottom line. And then pour that in the blender. Add three pumps of vanilla. One scoop of vanilla bean powder. A venti scoop of ice. And four pumps of cream base. And you're grab a grande size cold cup. Pour passion tea to the bottom line. Pour that in the blender. Add three pumps of classic and one to three pumps of raspberry. I'm gonna do two. It just really depends on how sweet you want it. Add a tiny bit of strawberry puree and then one to two scoops of strawberries depending on how strong you want the strawberry taste. And then two to four scoops of berries. Um, also just depends on how strong you want the berry flavor to be. I'm gonna do three. And then add one pump of cream base to help it get that smoothie consistency. Add a grande scoop of ice. Blend that on one. Pour a little bit of strawberry puree in the bottom of the cup and then pour the smoothie in. And this is the berry forest smoothie. Enjoy. Okay, so you're going to grab two venti hot cups, two jade citrus mint, and two peach tranquility tea bags. Then you're going to put the tea bags in the cup and put the tea bags in between the two cups. And then ask your barista to add one to two bags of honey. We don't have any, so I'm using this. And then add one to two pumps of peppermint. And then you're going to fill the cup halfway with hot water. And then add lemonade to the tall line on a steamer. And then you're going to steam the lemonade. And then after the lemonade is steamed, you're going to want to pour it into the cup to fill it up. And this is the medicine ball drink. 